Of course, memories revisited on Veterans Day. One local veteran is said to be Southeast Texas's last living Pearl Harbor survivor. He's 98 year old Cedric Stout of Bridge City. Now Mackenzie Hinkle sat down with him as he recounts his journey and the fight for America. Did you think when you were fighting in Pearl Harbor that you'd make it this far? Oh, no. I didn't even think I'd get out of Pearl Harbor. Cedric Stout didn't have much of a chance for survival when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. It wasn't easy, I'll tell you. It was very, it was bad. Amid the chaos, smoke, fire, explosions, and gunshots, Stout, at just 20 years old, put on his uniform and made it to safety. And I put my head out through the porthole and when I put my head out through the porthole, there's a bullet passed right over my head. Stout was a motor machinist second class aboard the USS Utah. That was the first ship struck during the attack. Two bombs and three torpedoes hit it and started going over. 64 other members of the Navy crew were killed that day when the ship sank. Stout lived to tell his story, but he's humble and a man of few words. I started thinking about what I went through. I don't like to talk about it too much. The 98-year-old is said to be the last known Pearl Harbor survivor in Southeast Texas. It's a recognition Stout doesn't care for. This is the date to celebrate Cedric Stout. Last week, surrounded by World War II veterans, Orange County commissioners declared November 5th as Cedric Stout Day. He was honored for his bravery, sacrifice, and his 98th birthday. Uh, I think about it a whole lot. Thinking about how, how did I ever go through all that mess and still be alive. But that's it, I guess it, the good Lord was with me. That's so awesome. Now Stout is one of just three that are still living from the USS Utah. He seems to be doing remarkably well. For 98, yes. Absolutely. I hope I'm like that when I'm 98 years old. And I think it's impressive to hear him talk about this. You have to imagine so many uh, of those brave warriors never wanted to talk about it. Oh, it was pulling teeth to talk about was it. Was it? Oh, for well, sure. Well, we're glad he shared the story. Absolutely. We salute him and we salute all of our veterans today. Thank you.